In this video I will show the uneven and unpredictable behavior of various expression pedals on the Line 6 Helix and Pod HD 500X. The pedals used are an Ensinex EVP1, Roland EV5, EHX Next Step Expression Pedal, and Yamaha EP1. I will also demonstrate a trick to fix the forward-backwards 0 to 100 to 0 glitch without having to mod. The Ensinex EVP1 worked perfectly on the HD 500X as a TRS enabled pedal. However, on the Helix it was glitchy, so I had to disassemble and mod it by cross jumping the ring and sleeve prongs of the jack. It now works perfectly fine on the Helix. From 0 to 100 utilizing the whole span of movement. Now I will try the Ensinex in the HD 500X. While it seems to work okay on the pod, cross jumping the ring and sleeve prongs caused an undesired effect. As you can see half of the trajectory from toe to heel became a dead zone. I will unmod it in the future and implement the trick I figured out. It basically consists of using a Y splitter cable to divide the TRS from the expression pedal into two TS cables. Next up is the Roland EV5. I also modded this pedal a while ago. The calibration pot was causing the pot to sense only a span of 20% on the heel to toe sweep. I removed the calibration pot from the circuit. Nevertheless, it went from sensing 20% to 51%. In this case, it roughly entails the random values of 23 to 75. I will now proceed to test on the Helix. Before modding it, the Roland went forward and backward, from 0 to 100 back to 41. Disengaging the calibration pot unexpectedly caused this pedal to work properly on the Helix. As you can see now, it goes from 0 to 100 with no problems. I will now test the EHX next step. It is a unique expression pedal plagued by several design shortcomings. The concept of gyroscopes and motion sensing seemed interesting. However it generated far too many complications to mention here. The main problem is that it basically doesn't work with any pedal except those made by EHX. Unlike the other three expression pedals, this erratic behavior isn't Line 6's fault. As you can see, it only goes from 0 to 55 and more than 90% of the toe heel sweep is a dead zone. On the Helix, it behaves even more bizarrely. This is probably due to the fact that this pedal requires 9 volt power, and the electric current makes it completely unusable. I did calibrate it beforehand to no avail, none of the sliders make a difference either. Finally, I will connect the Yamaha EP1, it is an unmodified TRS, 3 prong pot expression pedal, it works ok on the pod, going from 0 to 98. The reason it isn't going up to 100 is that the crank is not fully coiling the potentiometer. Since the pot doesn't auto calibrate, I would have to pry open the pedal and coil the pot that extra bit for it to go from 0 to 100. The interesting thing is that it does work on the HD 500X. The Insonic CVP1 worked fine like this when it was unmodded. It's important to note because neither work okay on the Helix. As you can see, the Yamaha does the dreaded forward backward glitch. Supposedly, all Line 6 pedals are only compatible with TS, linear, two-prong pot expression pedals. Neither the pod nor the Helix manual state this fact. It is surprising that TRS pedals behave so wildly different on this two flagship Line 6 pedals. I will now show you how to fix the forward-backward glitch without modding. For this trick, you will need a simple splitter Y cable. Connect the TRS jack from the expression pedal into the splitter and one of the TS jacks into the helix. The splitter isolates the ring from the sleeve of the TRS, therefore dividing the dual polarity signals coming from the three prongs of the pod. In theory, the left and right TS cables each output a clockwise and counterclockwise signal. However, polarity can also be inverted on the global settings of the helix. This trick allows you to use any expression pedal without having to mod. The only exception is the EHX Next Step which is a piece of crap. Nonetheless, in July 2017 Electro Harmonix released a passive traditional expression pedal for $49. It is a great alternative to the Mission Engineering F1 which is too heavy and too expensive. Thanks for listening and sorry for my horrible computer generated voice.